Dirt Radio. What does climate justice look like as we transform the transport sector? For us at, at Friends of the Earth and Sustainable Cities Collective, we really want to be ensuring that the transport solutions that we're moving towards aren't reinforcing existing inequalities or problems in our society. And so we know that electric vehicles is, is one part of the puzzle when it comes to how we decarbonise our, our transport sector, but it really is still um, a very individualistic solution. And we also know that electric vehicles aren't really that accessible to everyone, not only economically, but there's also many people who aren't able to drive. There's people who may live with a disability, elderly, folk, young people, there's so many people that it leaves out. And so for us, we are really focused on ensuring that everyone can access transport. Things like electric buses, which I'll talk more about later, is a climate justice solution in the transport sector because it's it's transitioning away from diesel, but it's also ensuring that we are getting more people onto public transport, which is reducing the space on our roads and also means that there are more people that are able to then access the transport that they need in their communities. Moretta, I know that you live in the western suburbs of Melbourne and I I think listeners who've utilised public transport at that kind of Western way would agree that it's very bus reliant. And with that comes a huge host of troubles. Can you tell us about your experience living out West with public transport or getting around the city? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm near Footscray and I, yeah, I think with the area, it's it's got a lot of tr- public transport that's available. But I find it, yeah, I do have to rely on my car to sort of get to work straight away if I'm on call for a job. So I do find that you do have to kind of really look into the bus timetables and things like that. If they had a little bit more variety of buses going maybe Mm -hmm. and connecting to the eastern suburbs as well, um, that would have been great. (laughs) Victoria doesn't actually have an integrated transport plan or strategy and so it's a very piecemeal approach. It's about let's build this big thing here, let's upgrade this this bus system here but it's actually not about looking at the whole system and thinking okay well let's look at how all the buses intersect not just in Footscray but also how do they intersect into Altona, into Sunshine, into the eastern suburbs and so it's a very uncoordinated approach and so Yeah, I think that is really part of it. And we know that the Western suburbs is one of the fastest growing suburbs in the state. And currently there's no plan for ensuring that the public transport network and buses in particular are going to cater to that growth. There's a lot of different issues here. And and we know that, you know, in the West, the communities are also often migrant communities, low socioeconomic people of colour. So there's, there's multiple intersecting inequalities that mean these communities really need access to, you know, the basic services that we all should have.